Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about one of the most free-to-play friendly legendary heroes, uh, which is in this uh, in this got popular by the time people were able to awaken her uh, simply because uh, it's not that easy especially for free to play players to awaken in this and of course why in this so popular why in this uh, is so much as a free to play player friendly legendary hero simply because uh, dragon trail rewards every single day every 24 hours you are able to get three a legendary in these tokens which means uh, if you're gonna compare her to any any other legendary heroes it's really easy to progress through levels and awaken her in the end that's how you can generally get in this there is no other ways currently but trust me this is the best way for free to play players almost every single kingdom builder game has some kind of hero like this and for Call of Dragons, uh, Indis is a free-to-play hero which is available for everybody to awaken. Simply by just spending, uh, paying, uh, playing in this game, uh, progressing through Dragon Trail, getting the rewards uh, from the total loot, and like once you have uh, 20,000 uh, Dragon Trail tokens, you will be able to get one in this token like this. Now it's time for us to speak um, this about this interesting hero. Well, first of all, at first uh, everybody should use Indis as a gatherer because she's a great gatherer. Not the best one actually. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Pen is the best gatherer in the game. But uh, after Pen, Indis is the best one. Uh, like for the uh, skills, uh, let's explain and let's try to understand besides gathering. Uh, why in this got popular uh, while the season have been progressing through the first skill axiom of glory uh, inflicts infirm on the target legion and two nearby legions increasing all damage taken by 20 percent for two seconds which is already very unique skill it generally means uh, you're gonna deal 20 percent more damage to two nearby legions for two seconds well, 2 seconds might look pretty low amount, but trust me, whenever you are using skill damage factor like 1500 or 2000, these 2 seconds will matter a lot. While also healing lightly wounded units in, uh, in up to 2 friendly legions surrounding the target, well, it's all about buffs, you are getting uh, damage buff 20% for 2 seconds, and also you are healing 300, uh, 350 uh, healing factor to two nearby legions uh, which is like pretty interesting uh, like this buff is an amazing uh, addition uh, healing is like not so amazing but yeah why not uh, in general we can understand that in, in this is more like a support buffer type of uh, fighter in the, on the field the second skill one of the most uh, useless skills for fighting is a gathering sp uh, skill uh, 20 percent uh, gathering bonus and 10 percent wood gathering which is normal as i mentioned that first everybody have been using in this for the gathering the third skill increases in the legion hp by 20 percent maximum legion capacity by uh, 7500 uh, 20 percent bonus 7500 very unique skill uh, there is only a couple of uh, heroes in the game which has a legion capacity bonus uh, on their skill. Uh, first one is Hosk, uh, and Hosk is only for pay to win players. And the second one is Madeline, uh, and Madeline has almost the same amount of maximum legion capacity. So, an another unique skill uh, for the Indies, which is Gatherer, but uh, like... By the time we are speaking about skills, uh, her skill set is getting interesting and interesting. The uh, fourth skill is counterattack damage reduction 50%. That's a lot uh, for 5 seconds and also removing one debuff effect. Uh, that's a lot, right? 50%, uh, like half of the damage you're gonna receive from counterattack damage will be mitigated. 
and it's pretty interesting. The awakening skill, uh, it's really easy to awaken in this while just playing the game uh, as a free-to-play player or pay-to-win player, doesn't really matter. Uh, and the uh, awakening skill just simply gives us um, 3 seconds uh, for the buff, which gonna give us 20% more damage. Uh, and also 450 healing factor, well, it's basically buffing the first skill, which is actually the, uh, the, the main skill for every single hero. Uh, for the talents, uh, like, uh, it's easy to understand that for the fighting, uh, gathering talents won't, will be useless, and we should not uh, do the gathering talents on the like open field battles but overall i think support and overall tree is a nice one to have in my opinion if you somehow running um, in this as a primary hero you should go for overall tree uh, like whenever your legion enters battle they gain resistance reducing the damage they take by four percent for 10 seconds uh, when casting rage kill your legion gains skin and shelter increasing their attack by four percent and their defense by three percent I think like overall skill and the uh, Sander Fury is more of like a marksman, infantry, cavalry type of uh, talent. Uh, and for support tree, uh, well, support tree generally means that all you are doing is healing and debuffing and applying buffs to your end enemy legions. So in my opinion, if you are going for like marksman type of uh, in this gameplay, you are going for overall tree uh, because Sander Fury is great, Keen is great uh, like skill to have on the marksman. But like there is other choices like corner the rat when your legion's count is less than 50% they deal 2% more damage. I wouldn't recommend this talent for tier 4 players. It's uh, It can be only good for tier 5s. But from this 2-1 I think Sander Fury is better. Uh, between like Guardian Angel and uh, Spirited Response when your legion is hit with a normal attack they gain 4 additional rage. Uh, this effect can be triggered once every one second, so you can trigger this effect pretty usually But generally it depends what kind of uh, units and what kind of hero pair you're gonna match with in this uh, For example, if you are going for marksman, I think Sander Fury and uh, Guardian Angel even like uh, Spirit um, response will be fine uh, for the support uh, talents, I think uh, force field, every time your legion gains a buff effect, their HP increases by 0.5 up to maximum 3%. That's a better one uh, from these two talents. And uh, the flock of the blessing, when your legion gains a buff effect, they also gain healing and generally in this gives us some buffs effects like 20% uh, damage taken to enemies for 3 seconds uh, is already a buff. So this is like two talent trees which you can uh, play with the Indies if you want to run her as a primary hero. Uh, like generally if you only want her to uh, be a gatherer, there is a gathering tree and it's pretty easy to understand which talents to choose on a gathering tree. Uh, whenever you are starting the talents, I understand you have to like uh, put points on Earth's Grace because that's the first talent. But here, like uh, Logistics Masters is gathering speed. If you are using uh, Indies for fighting, you can always go for increase uh, the defense of your Legion units by 0.4 or even overall health. It will be much better choice than just simply having uh, gathering uh, speed uh, for the fighting hero. Now, uh, the most important and most interesting is always to speak about hero pairs whenever we are speaking about this awkward uh, like on the first glance Indies doesn't look as a fighter because she has a gathering uh, talent and gatherers are really important especially for free to play players but uh, yeah like she got a new hero pairs uh, like more game is progressing more seasons are passed uh, we are seeing more and more Indies on the battlefield uh, I think for almost every single legion pair Indies has a uh, hero pair for example let's start with marksman uh, I have not seen this uh, have been used much, but I think it's an interesting hero pair for Indies. Uh, like, uh, for example, Kinara and um, Indies. Why Kinara and Indies? Well, uh, Kinara and Hosk is a popular hero pair, especially for A to win players. You are basically tank marksman. You are not dealing as much damage, but uh, you are tanky, you are dealing a lot of counter attack damage. 
Um, like you can apply something like this for marks for Kinara and Indies. Indies also has a maximum Legion capacity bonus, uh, way, way less than Hosk, but still this is something. Uh, also, uh, Indies will give Kinara 20% more uh, damage to enemies for 2 to 3 seconds. And also, we have HP bonus, another way of being tanky. Uh, you're gonna get less counter attack damage and also you are healing yourself. Uh, for the Kinara, you're gonna deal additional uh, physical counter attack damage to enemies while being tanky. Uh, you are reducing the march speed of the enemies. And of course, Kinara is buffing the marksman units uh, like physical bonus. Uh, skill damage factor is of course high 1400 and of course if you're gonna ever awaken Kinara then she becomes one of the best marksman heroes. I think the Kinara in this or in this Kinara is a uh, like pair for free to play players like uh, Osk and uh, Kinara. It's like a uh, separate uh, one uh, it's pretty close with Hosk and in this uh, not in a player not in a skill not in a synergies but how Hosk and Kinara is used you as a free to play player you can use uh, in this uh, like if you don't have Hosk that's a mark marksman hero pair in my opinion that should work uh, totally fine simply because uh, Kinara is very versatile uh, legendary hero you can run her in a tanky lineup and you can run her in a all damage factor lineup for the mage hero pairs i think uh, these mage hero pairs are best for indies which is unfortunately uh, lilia and uh, uh, indies unfortunately because uh, lilia is only for uh, pay to win players and lilia is well known that she has the highest damage in the uh, game uh, regarding mage units one of the best if not the best magic legendary hero and like simply because you're gonna give her 20% more damage to two nearby legions also you are giving her more uh, troops uh, more legion which means she will stay alive and she will deal more and more damage uh, i suggest you to use lilia and indies if uh, lilia is awakened if not then there is an, an other choices like any mage hero which gonna give us lot of damage uh, from her play kit even Valin uh, even in even uh, Waldir but let's say you have like Lilia already uh, paired up with Thea you have Waldir paired up with Valin uh, and you can always go for for example Alwyn and Indis which means uh, like any other major hero which will be totally fine for Indis to pair with uh, for example, let's say we want to play infantry, right, with Indies. Garwood and Indies is a great peer, a uh, hero pair, a lot of healing, uh, more legion, which means uh, uh, more troops on legion, which means you are a lot more tankier than before. Uh, HP bonus, uh, well, it's pretty easy to understand. That's one of the most basic hero pairs for the Indies, which is Garwood. Uh, I would not suggest to use Indies with a cavalry unit because she will be slow and uh, main idea about cavalry hero pairs are that they are using their rage skill as fast as possible and their march speed is high. So like this is three ways of playing Indies. Uh, for marksmen I think uh, Ginara and uh, Indies is great. Uh, for mages the best one is Lilia and if if Lilia is occupied with another hero pair, you can generally use any other uh, mage heroes to pair with Indies. For infantry, it's uh, Indies, as Indies and Garud. It's pretty easy to understand. A lot of healing, a lot of uh, tankiness, a uh, lot of uh, like uh, buff uh, to yourself, counter-attack damage reduction. And of course, it's, it will be really, really easy to awaken Indies. This infantry style is more defensive, uh, like Kinara in this is more defensive style and Kinara Lilia is a lot more offensive one uh, if we're gonna compare it to other choices. For the uh, artifacts, I always speak about artifacts which we can currently get as a free-to-play players and it's pretty easy to understand, more of a uh, 
like uh, supportive type of artifacts will be good for her as i said i would use in this more of a secondary hero on the battlefield but if you are still choosing to use her on a primary uh, like for mages i think uh, tr of arbon is the best choice if you are running in this in a mage uh, legion magic unit defense legion defense even more healing for you and for uh, four friendly legions in uh, like designated circle uh, healing factor 400 depending how what's the skill level of your uh, tier of arbor uh, other choices well uh, you can run for example uh, Her heart of gamasi on a kinara in this uh, hero pair as i said kinara in this is a more tangy version of uh, like kinara hero pairs uh, you can, if you don't have Hosk, you can use Kinara instead. And yeah, you're gonna have a physical Kin, Onslaught, normal attack damage deal 15%, duration 10 seconds. So generally, it's easy to understand what kind of artifacts you can use on Indies, more of a support type of artifacts, uh, more of a buffers to allow your another hero pair or another legions to deal as much damage as possible. Also, like for example, uh, for Garwood and Indies uh, hero pair, you're gonna, you can really run Fang of Ashkari, Legion, Legion, Legion Defense, Legion Defense both stats and you are just dealing damage simply by just staying alive, uh, 500 damage factor, duration 8 seconds. Generally this is like the artifacts which I think will be fine on uh, Indies, more of a support type ones. Uh, Fang of Ashkar is infantry, Tier of Arbon is magic and Heart of Kamasi is for marksmen. Uh, the next uh, topic we're gonna speak about in this uh, is about war pets and again I will repeat uh, I would recommend to use in this as a secondary hero but if you are still choosing to use as a primary hero uh, like I think there is one obvious choice uh, which is the uh, stripe bear uh, like you are, you are getting vigor more HP more healing uh, if you don't want to have uh, another option of healing on your hero pair you can always run with venomous lizard it's a great war pet uh, for the damage dealer tanks so generally uh, like don't run Frostbear because Frostbear wants to have armor on uh, the hero and you are not applying armor on your uh, in this at all that's why I think Venomous Lizard with the infection synergy and uh, the Stripe Bear with the friendship synergy which will be totally fine if you want to be more alive you're gonna run for Stripe Bear and if you want to deal uh, at least some damage during fights you're gonna run for uh, for the venomous lizard now generally this uh, in this is one of the easiest uh, heroes to awaken legendary heroes to awaken that's why i always advise you to guys try to get uh, as much dragon trail uh, coins as possible every single day you can get at least one uh, in this legendary token uh, that's why it's pretty easy to awaken her uh, this is all I wanted to speak about in this and today about Call of Dragons. As you can see, I have been fighting. I have tested my long range warfare and it works pre perfectly even against tier 5 players. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you are enjoying the videos I'm making. Uh, it always gives me more and more motivation to do more content whenever I see your likes, subscribes and comments. Uh, like if you have any other ideas about how to play with indies please share it's always important for me to uh, have a discussion because even though i'm making videos it doesn't mean i'm always right i'm just sharing my personal opinion about the game i hope you are positive about the game and about the life in general because positiveness is better to, than negative thanks for watching i hope you are having amazing day night or morning depending whenever wherever you are i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye wish you good luck